I'm Ivana Maury Mora and I'm a high school junior looking for careers in STEM fields. Um, I'm interested in many things, but I'm not exactly sure what um, exactly I'm interested in. Today uh, we have Roger Lopez, a chemical engineer and executive, who can tell us more about his career and help us learn more about maybe what we'd like to do. Thank you, Ivana, for inviting me. Um, I think the, what I can say to you and to all the students is how, how the engineering journey started. It really started really early in high school. And, and it was about what, the, what did I wanted to do, what I was excelling. And I, and I really like math. I like this STEM field. And was also thinking about my future. And when I was in high school, the future was important. And having a career that was providing a good economic benefit and a good career to grow, that was important to me. Why chemical engineering? Mm -hmm. Chemical engineering is a very interesting engineering because it's, it's about processes. It's about how to transform a, a prime and raw materials into final products. Mm -hmm. And using a lot of processes, a lot of math, a lot of heat transfer, and it was great an opportunity for me to be solving problems and, and getting products every day. So that was, that's how. When I did that, my, my first challenge was how to pay for that. Mm -hmm. And the number one thing you need to do is find scholarships. Find scholarships and look for the universities that provide the best career for you. So you need to study, get good grades, look for scholarship, and then go for the best university for you. Did you face any other challenges on your journey to become a chemical engineer? Well, it's, it was a transition from the high school to university. It was different pace. It was a lot mm -hmm. of study, a lot of hours. So it was a lot of determination. It was a lot of persistence. So that was my main challenge. But you need to keep focus. You need to keep concentrating and you're going to be and graduate. And then at the end, you're going to see a lot of reward when you get your first job. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do every day, like day-to-day -day work as a chemical engineer? Well, my, my career started in the technical field. I was working in, in, in the oil and gas industry, actually mm -hmm. working in refineries, working on, on maximizing the benefit of oils and all the products. And then I realized that I needed to have more of the business side, and I started an MBA. Uh, here in the United States, in Cincinnati, and, and now I'm transitioning more into the business side. But the engineering was the key element for me to get into the business, which I'm working right now. Um, do you recommend a double major if in business or another subject that could possibly be useful in a career? Do you recommend that for engineers? I think, I think that's, a, that's a really good question because when you are an engineer, you're solving problems and, and you're working on the technical side, but you cannot, never left the business side away. And I think having the business maybe is a really great idea. But also think about what you are passionate, what you like, what your, what your interests are. You always need to look at that. But a business major will be a perfect combination for an engineer. Um, what, do you, what is a message that you can tell students that are possibly interested in this career? The, the message is very clear. It's, it's about the future. Uh, it's about what you want to have 10, 15 years from now. You want to have a stable economic situation. You want to be able to provide a good uh, care for your kids and your family. And being an engineer is going to let you do that. It's going to give you all the opportunities. It's going to give you the, the, the challenges, if you like challenges, and it's going to make you a better person. And, and the opportunities are endless. So it's not only in the United States, but worldwide. So I think it's get good grades, look for scholarships, get the best university, and then pursue your career and work every day until you graduate. And how can uh, the students take action now? Um, other than this looking for scholarships, what do you recommend to get involved in the more science and the chemical engineering? Are there, any, are there any things that they could do now in high school? I think they, they, they need to talk to the counselors and they need to look for every opportunity for, for getting into the STEM activities. If they have any and physics or mathematics, labs or, 
or any, any projects, go with those projects, get help. If you, if you think you need help, talk to the counselor, they'll be able to help. And try to look at the really nice side of the, of the stems on this side. It's, it's, it's just a world that is just about to be discovered for you if you're, if you're in that area, you're lo looking into that area. And just try, just try because the reward is going to be huge. All right, well, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you, Vanna. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I hope you had a, a better uh, idea of what you want to do in your career. Thank you. <laughs>